Hey guys, Daniel here, and today I'm going to show you how to summon falling blocks. So you can make pretty much any block fall down, like there are some exceptions, such as like air, you know, but yeah, well, this is what it looks like. So there's falling obsidian block, and then lands. It's just like sand or gravel or red sand, stuff like that. The only bad thing about it is it's not exactly like it, so you can see it doesn't fall down again when you break the block under it. But you can still do cool things with it, like this. Number four. I put barrier blocks there to hold it up when it fell. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Okay, so first off, you're going to need to find out the tile ID of the block you want to be falling down. So let me show you how I found out Obsidian's tile ID. So just get Obsidian, and if you move your mouse over it, it just says obsidian. It most likely says that on your screen at least. If you go out of your inventory, press F3 and H at the same time. And then you go in your inventory. Then it should have a number next to it. And then under that, the ID. So it has a tile ID and the normal ID. So the tile ID is what you need for this. So as you can see, 49 for obsidian. And then let's look up or look at random blocks. So you can see. Um, Laps of Zuli, 22. Cobblestone Stair, 67. Diamond Block, 57. I'm sitting there again, 49. So I guess let's do hmm, hmm, Diamond Block, Block of Diamond. Everybody likes diamonds, right? <laughs> okay, 57. So what you want to do is slash summon, and then you want to summon Falling Sand. So the next thing you do are the coordinates. I'm just gonna have it in the same spot, but um, hmm, how many? Let's say 40 blocks above this. And then this is where you put the tile ID. So you put tile ID colon, and it was 57, I believe. Doesn't matter if it is or not. And then next you want to put comma and time colon one if you don't have the time one it's not gonna work so just make sure you put that in there and then summon it and there we go we got a diamond block so I put this hundred blocks up pretty cool you can do a lot of cool things with that but one other thing is that if you summon something like chest, so 54, that's the ID for chest, as you can see there, then it won't show up until it lands. That happens with some of the other types of locks too. Just to watch out for that if you don't see it falling, and that's why. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.